Hey Serge, we're out here again today. What's going on? We are flying the DCL frame and the new HDO fat shots. Shot of that head nog there. All right, let's get it in the air. And that's a micro eagle camera. And running seven inch on that, right? Seven inch props on a 325 millimeter frame. Okay. A little over 700 grams. With the GoPro and Looks really cool, especially with the micro eagle. Land. The colors, oh my god, yeah, yeah. It's, it's crazy. Eagle, that's nice. Yeah, it's a combination, I think. Like yeah. the OLEDs and the Eagle is you can get it's like HD. <laughs> the Eagle is pretty close. Okay, all right, now, yeah, he's gonna hear Bob in the background. We're now it's here. blinking, which means it's recording. All right, oops. Dude, the colors are amazing. And you've flown with this camera in your HD3s. Yeah. Bob, I think it's low on seven inch. Six inch was quicker. It's an unnerving sound behind your back coming in. So what did you notice right off the bat when you plugged this thing in with these goggles? Uh, this is where I almost fly every day testing stuff. And I can see more stuff. There are things like I've never seen before. Because really with this goggle, you can see all the fine details. It's, okay. it's, it's, well, I don't know if it's the Micro Eagle. I think it's both. We should try this uh, goggle. We're gonna have micro to do a back-to-back well. -back with the HD3s in this. Or that, yes. Just to kind of get an idea. But uh, okay, it's so. really slow on the 7 inch. Now what about the field of view for you? I forgot about that. Yeah. I couldn't even... It's... You noticed it when you put the goggles on, but in flight... I couldn't tell the difference. You couldn't tell the difference. I it felt like I, your I actually, I just fly the HD3s, first. which has slightly bigger field of view. Okay. I think this is better. Like, I don't have to look around to the corners. Right, right. You know, like, when I put my uh, signal uh, quality for the TBS Crossfire in the top corner, usually yeah. I have to, like literally leave everything and look there to read my value with okay. this it's everything is there right that little bit difference makes really makes it it does make a difference yes. yeah and you notice with these goggles like we both put them on in the inside and you you instantly notice the difference like when you plug in a camera to these goggles you instantly can see you can how crisp and thing, yes. clean especially they are. that we had both side by side these yeah. and the ac trees day and night difference yeah yeah. Very, okay. very clear. So, um, the, I guess the question is, we asked these on the co the Commander V2s. What goggles are you going to be flying with this season? Uh, these are already my goggles. They're already yours. <laughs> As you can tell, he's already put his... I'm keeping these. His face, or his, uh, the yeah. pad on there. My pad is already there. Yeah. I'm keeping this. This, yeah. is, this is really nice. Yeah. I, I, I watched Sean Taylor's live video today, and he was praising all these goggles. Yeah. He was 100% right. Right. Like... There is no yeah. hype around this. It's really, it was, really the best fat shark I've ever tried. Yeah, you could see inside, and, it, and flying proves it, inside it felt instantly, like when you plugged in the, the quad, it was like, oh my gosh, okay. Yeah. Even like when flying around here, there are like small details, you know, like signs and stuff that right. I've never paid attention, and you can see with this. <laughs> right. That's so how much difference there is. So maybe we won't be hitting as many branches and things like that. No. Or, power or uh, lines. our wires. I don't know. If hey, you guys, I don't hit power lines. If That's you Bob. guys can see these power lines out as here. As a matter of fact, I never let there. Bob fly my quads in this alley. Okay, so now, Serge, we are flying what? We're still. Uh, this with... is the Floss 2 that Andy races with. It has the Micro Swift two on this one and we're doing this because this is what you're used to flying with so this yes. it'll only it'll get the audience a chance to see this well, camera micro eagle but it'll also micro let you really two. see the difference okay send and it dvr is rolling oh yeah we're gonna send What's your flight impression?
What do you think? I'm just enjoying my <laughs> He's not talking it's, because it's, he's enjoying it. Oh yeah. man, the colors are okay. Even it's not as crisp as uh, the micro eagle, obviously, but it's way, way, way more crisper than the regular H3s on the same camera. Well, and with the micro eagle, the pro, you you experience the same thing as when I flew it. Is it was a little oversaturated. It was just kind of felt soft, almost in the edges. But now we've got goggles that kind of are holding up to what the Micro Eagle can produce. So the only way I can describe this to you is, it's exactly the same feeling that I had first when I tried the Pro Sight. Literally looks wow. the same. Okay. So it's great. It's very, very crisp. All right. So and like clean. we said in the last video, we know what now what you're going to be running. So. Oh, yeah. Look out for a used HD3 for sale. <laughs> Absolutely. All right, guys. Thanks again for watching, and we'll catch you next time.